Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another grounded update video where today we're hopping in and I'm going to be showing you guys all the different ins and outs when it comes to upgrading your armor. Now in this video I'm not going to be going over all the different perks that you can get from upgrading your armor but what I will be doing is going over exactly how you're going to upgrade it, what you're going to need and also how to unlock all three different types of plates for you to be able to do all of your armor upgrades. But before we go any further don't forget to hit that like button but let's hop in and let's talk some armor upgrading shall me so the first thing that you're going to need is berry leather grub hide and pupa leather so in order to get those three things it's as easy as it sounds go harvest some pupa go harvest some grubs go harvest some berries as soon as you have those you will be able to follow these steps that i'm about to show you in order to make all the different leathers leather plates i should say that you are going to need in order to craft each armor set so first things first after you have those set items the next thing you're going to need is a grinder once you get a grinder what you need to unlock the grinder by going over to the haze base getting the super burgle chip that's there bringing it back to burgle giving it to him and unlocking it with raw science advanced production once you get that come in here and you'll see that you can now make leather strap scraps okay these leather scraps is what you need okay what you do is you put in one pupa hide and it will give you five scraps okay so you just go in one pupa hide one grub leather one berry leather all of these different things will go ahead and make exactly what you're looking for so for instance i'll put a pupa leather in here to show you guys what happens one pupa leather equals one in equals five scraps easy peasy you can go out and get these at any time for you once you have these you will have to go down go to a research station and research them once they are researched you will be able to unlock the actual plates so once you have the plates where do you go in order to make them your workbench that's where you go to make them right now i think that this is going to get changed because once you go in here and i show you them they look a little messy so for instance, if you go right here, you can see when you scroll down, they look kind of messy. They're in weird places right now, so it doesn't really look very good. So I feel like these are going to get their own place at some point. But for now, this is how you make them. A grub leather plate is going to require two leather scraps, one sap, and one crude rope. A berry leather plate is going to require two berry leather scraps, one bug rubber, and one grub leather plate. So you're going to need a lot of grub leather plates just to make berry berry leather plates and then right after that if i come over here and i grab this pupa leather plate out of here and like i said just hop down here go over and research this guy go right there bada bing bada boom let's research that now i have my pupa leather plate right just like that just as i said run right back up over here jump up here and go to this guy now if we look at the pupa leather plate you now need two pupa leather scraps, one bug goop, and a berry leather plate, which means for every one of these, you are going to need one of these. And for every one of these, you're going to need one of these guys. So you are going to need a crap load of grub hides in order to make a piece of armor all the way to tier nine. Now, I also want you guys to think about this while we're going through and talking armor upgrading. You do not only use one piece of armor like you do when you are upgrading a weapon and using quartzite to upgrade it. You are using three separate pieces of armor and all of them can be upgraded just the same as what you can see I've done here. I've went through and done one upgrade to my crusty roly poly armor, turning it from regular roly poly armor or crusty roly poly armor into stylish roly-poly armor so that's the next part that we're going to talk about let's talk actual upgrading so from tier one to tier five you're going to use grub leather plates it's going to go two four eight sixteen thirty two you're going to need thirty two grub leather plates in order to actually get the number of um you're, in order to get all the way upgraded is what I'm trying to say. Sorry, had a little bit of a brain fart there while thinking about the number of sap you're going to need, which is 276 pieces, by the way, if you're wondering how much sap you're going to need in order to get a full set of upgraded armor all the way to tier 5. But 
Think about that. So once you get all the grub leather plates, then you're going to need even more grub leather plates because then you're going to need berry leather plates. Then after that, you're going to need pupa leather plates, which you're going to need grub leather plates, which you're also going to need to grub or grub leather plates and berry leather to make larvae pupa it's a whole thing it's a lot it's a lot of confusing i know guys it's a little tricky but trust me it's going to be worth your time in the end because every time you upgrade it, it also repairs it it's worth it for you to go ahead and do so so going through guys like i said it's not that difficult to go through and get all these this is going to be very very grindy and i'm sorry about that i know but it's part of what grounded is grounded is a grindier type of game and especially for when you're playing with other people you can actually get quite a few different sets of gear upgraded pretty quick as long as you have a couple people hunting out those grub leather plates for you the grub hide is probably going to be your biggest pain for you to be able to go through and get a hint for you guys if you're looking to get pupa do not forget to go underneath the shed underneath the shed porch there is pupa hanging from the ceiling that you can knock down with arrows and that will help you guys get even more advanced stuff now like i said let's go back and talk upgrading a little bit more so following down the path once you go all the way to level five you're going to have a split in your path okay you're going to choose between after you get through stylish you're going to go down either sleek or bulky and it's up to you to make the decision on what path you want to go down now the bulky path is going to go down and act as though you are doing the quartzite path for weapons it is going to increase your durability and your defense by 10 percent or 10 points instead or no 10 percent sorry instead of just five like it was doing for upgrades one through five right but if you go down the sleek path, which is the one that I would suggest that you guys do, the sleek path will give you guys a bonus armor perk on your armor. So instead of only giving you 10%, it's going to still give you 5% more defense and also durability, but you're also going to get a bonus skill on your armor. For instance, a couple that I know of so far, but I'll do a full video explaining all of them here in a little while. One, the uh, ladybug armor the ladybug armor gives you more to its healing effect whenever it activates and heals you it'll heal you for even more two the roly the um, termite armor activates a dust cloud three the aphid slippers reduce the amount of stamina for sprinting so all the different armor sets have different bonuses so go out make your sleek armor you're going to want it you're going to need it there's a lot of really good things out there for you to get it i know the pupas are kind of a pain in the butt to be able to grind out and i know there's not a lot of them out there but i know you guys can do it i know you guys can find it this is a huge update and i'm loving everything in it so far and i hope all of you guys are as well if you are make sure you hit that like button don't forget to subscribe don't forget to leave me a comment down below of other things you guys want me to cover from this update and as always i'll see all of you guys in the